I am making this video just because a lot of you have been asking me how I maintain my silver grey hair and how bleaching works and what bleaches and it's, uh, it's a lot of hassle answering every single one in the comments. So I'm making this video to kind of clear everything up. Um, a lot of these comments were left on my how to dye your hair silver video so if you haven't checked it out yet you should check it out if you you know want to dye your hair silver. Um, but if you've already watched that and you still have questions, then um, keep watching because there's a lot to know and not many of you know it. <laughs> you have to bleach your hair to get silver or grey hair. No matter how dark the silver looks, no matter how, you know, it looks much darker than the natural bleached hair, you have to bleach it. Otherwise, if there's any bit of brassiness left, first of all, if it's a brown, it's not even gonna show up. It's gonna have absolutely no effect in it. But even if it's a blonde and it's like a level eight or even nine, and it has a bit of brassiness in it or a bit of that orange tint, it's not gonna show up well. It's just gonna turn green or it's gonna be a gray with like bits of green in it, which is not, not that you don't want that. It's, it's ugly. So you have to bleach your hair to at least a level 9, preferably 10, like this color. Originally, I bleached my hair around 6 months ago. I wanted to go grey then, but then I didn't because I like the bleached hair look. But then I went grey. So I had a level 10-ish, which is what you need. Now, a lot of you have been asking me, oh, what can I do to reduce the damage um, from the bleach? Or are there any treatments or anything that you could use? So the number one thing that I will always recommend is Olaplex. And for all of you that don't know what that is, it's a treatment um, that you add to the dye or to the bleach or just on its own. And what it does when the, bleach, when the bleach breaks apart the hair bonds um, to extract the color, the Olaplex forms them back. And you know, this kind of helps your hair not break off. So it's a very good product. However, I personally didn't use it. I applied it on other people, but I never used it. And so far, my hair is still on my head. And I have a specific hair care routine, but it might not work for you, but this is just what I do. So just keep in mind that it might not work for you as well as it does for me. So what I do, um, I wash my hair about three to four times a week and every single time what I do is I shampoo my hair and then I add a deep conditioner and it's by Beauty Formulas and I just find it in the drugstore it's like six euros but it works I've been using it for around three years anyways I shampoo and then I add this conditioner on my hair and then I leave it on for an hour or two or three you can leave it on as long as you want because the longer I found it the better it works so I leave it on for a couple hours and then I rinse it off and then I apply normal conditioner as usual. Then I just dry it and style it as normal. And this seems to do the trick. Um, I find that my hair is very silky the longer I leave it on. And as you can see, it's pretty shiny. It's, you know, it's, it didn't fall off as much as I expected. So that's good. So other than that, you can also try, there are many, many other type of there are other brands and other products that you could use obviously to make bleaching a bit easier on your hair you can also try a variety of home remedies however keep in mind bleached hair is already practically dead or deader than hair normally is so up to an extent you can't really do much to it and so whenever you're bleaching your hair you have to expect it to go a bit drier or a lot drier than your natural hair. So another thing that you're gonna find necessary is regular trimming of the hair. I trim my hair, well I do it at home, like wherever I find dry pieces I'm like no you have to go. So I do it at home quite often, but once a month just because bleach tends, bleached hair tends to have very rough or dry ends and that just annoys me so much so I just get my hair cutting scissors and just chop it off. I don't suggest you do that unless you have experience. Yay. Now, when it comes to actually dyeing your hair silver, as I said, you need to have a level nine, level 10 and up. You need a level nine 
or tan when it comes to your hair otherwise silver will not show up on your hair so um, the silver that I used it's by a brand called Affinage and I don't have the box to show you just because I used it up um, but it's by Infinity, Affinage Infinity and it is found in the Gothic series and the specific one that I used was the silver 9.117 now, a lot of you have been saying that it's very hard to find the product, and I, I admit it is a bit hard to find. Um, but if you go on their website, there is a link called Distributors, and it shows you where in the entire world um, different companies sell their products. And if you live near any of these companies, or you can contact them to, you know, you could buy one from over there. However, if you still have trouble finding that same dye that I have, there are many, many other silver dyes that you could buy. Um, one that I do suggest is a dye by the brand Pravana and this uh, you can find it online so you can buy it over there. So, a lot of you have been saying that your silver hair or whatever you tried out it's faded very quickly and that is true because up to a certain extent silver is a fashion color and therefore it usually comes in semi-permanent ways or like conditioner ways and that means um, that after two, two, three washes it tends to fade. This one however is a permanent hair dye um, which is why I still have it faded but it didn't fade as much as you would expect it to which is why again I would suggest getting a permanent dye rather than a toner or a semi-conditioner, semi-permanent conditioner dye. Uh, there are ways that you could prevent the hair from the hair color from fading. As I said, don't use as much heat. And also, you could also use um, purple shampoos and purple conditioners because this just removes any brassiness from the hair and also makes sure that more silver purple pigments are added to your hair. And this just prevents it from fading. You can also tone your hair after washing it. But this might take a bit of time to get used to and also it's just a hassle. So uh, also a lot of you have been asking how long I have the silver hair so far and this is my seventh week. I did it at the very beginning of January so this is my seventh week with silver hair and this is how it turned out. I still have the black at the top and the silver at the bottom and I feel I'm quite proud of how it is just because it is still pretty silver, it is still pretty pigmented, it did fade obviously just like any color but not as much as you'd expect it so I'm very happy with the results so far although if you are going to try it out on yourself expect different results because as I said everyone's hair is different. So this is mostly what I wanted to say regarding bleaching and regarding silver hair and gray hair and how to maintain it and what you could do to make it less damaging etc. If you still have questions, please do not hesitate to comment. I reply to every single comment, so feel free to do so. I hope I answered most of you guys' questions. I did my best to, you know, try to answer everything. Yes. So yeah, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. I'm very close to reaching 10,000 subscribers, which is pretty awesome. So yeah, again, as I said, um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Any questions, leave them down below and I will see you next time.